Well, hi everybody. Today I am taking a look at the Lauren Phelps Designs Live, Plan, Dream notebooks. So I had originally ordered this one, which is the week's size, because I am in the process of deciding on a journaling situation for next year. And I've already looked at the Hobonichi Weeks itself and uh, this one, and then I'm waiting for the Sterling Ink one. It's a pre-order, so it's not here yet. But then when I ordered this one, they reached out to me and said they had a space on their PR team for this particular launch where they would like you to decorate a notebook and send it in so that they can have show different examples of how to use it. And so this is the package I got from them and I ordered different sizes to just take a look. So let's see what we've got in here really quick. But I paid for this one with my own money. They sent me this one. This is not sponsored. This will be all of my own personal uncensored opinions as per usual. This came with both of them. So I have two of them now. And this side is like a little dashboard and I fucking love this. I love the Lauren Phelps designs like aesthetic. So it just, it makes me really happy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here is what she sent. I have not actually gone through any of this yet. So she sent it with another dashboard. Here is a roll of tip-in tape. It's satin transparent tape on die cut, die, I can't even talk, die cut clear backing paper, specifically created for use with journal tip-ins or craft projects. And then this little card, like business card, and then this thing, which I think is a washi tape holder. And then we have the two notebooks that she sent with the clear covers. So this one is the A5 size with a clear cover. And then in the box, oh, this is cute. Okay, this is cute. She sent me one to keep and one to send back. And so in the send back is another weeks. This will be the one that I decorate and send back, but I'm not going to open that one yet because I've already got my, the one that I have open. And then what she sent with the A5 was her clear cover to use. And so we'll put this on and see how it goes, but this is the paper that's in the cover. And I actually might want to save this because this is pretty nice looking paper. This is the soft vinyl notebook cover for the A5 size. So we've got an A5 and a weeks to take a look at. And they both come in these little sleeves. So protective sleeves. So here is what they look like. Weeks A5, basically the same thickness. They have very similar specs aside from size. So I'll read you from the information I have. This is a reinforced leatherette. So, you know, vegan leather, fake leather outside. It's very soft. I like the feel like it's kind of got that slickness to it, but it's still soft. I enjoy the feel of these. There are sometimes a velvety kind of exterior on certain things I hate, but this is my kind of textural moment. And my God, my nails match it. That's freaking weird. I didn't do that on purpose. I believe the cover color is the same and it's a, according to the email I got, it is a custom Pantone cover color that they had made for them with, um, it's water resistant. I don't know, man, like I'm not gonna test it. 392 total pages. It's the 52 GSM white new Tomoe River paper. So this paper is different than the paper in my weeks. The weeks paper is more yellow. This paper is white. They feel texturally very similar to each other. I don't know what a lot of the differences are. Um, it's thread bound for flat lay design and 360 degree folding. So let's take a look at it. So you open it up, you have to probably train it just a bit cause it's brand new and that works and you can just fold it like this and it seems to like crack the, the center a little bit but it doesn't feel like it's fucking the notebook up like if you look this doesn't look fucked up it's just this edge of the cover that's going to be kind of beaten up from that slightly rounded corners storage sleeve yep got that and then on the inside we have this gilded paper interior it's very pretty, this like interior paper with the speckles. 
very, very pretty. She says in the email that this was a splurge to get done for the notebook, but like, I really love this. I would love like a wrapping paper that looks like this. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it is like very like beigey speckled with a little bit of foil. Like, I don't know how well you can see the foil, but there are bits of like rose gold foil on here too. And then you get 12 undated six week calendars, except for A5 and standard are five week calendars. 365 blank dotted grid pages, a spacing page, a notebook details page, and last page specs. Okay, and then for price wise, there's different sizes. So she's got, they're all sold out, officially launching them on the 27th of October. And so I'm hoping that they're all gonna be back in stock. Currently they're out of stock, but I'll leave it linked down below, not an affiliate link. Um, A5, which is this one is $44.99. Then there's a B6, Passport, A6, Standard Traveler size, and then this Hobonichi Week size is $34.99. Same amount of paint. They're the same thickness. So it's just size is the difference. So let's take a look. The biggest difference in these is going to be in the calendar, so we'll look at those together. I'll use the A5 because it's going to be a little easier to look at. So you open it up, and you have this Hello Beautiful page with her peony. And then you have your calendar pages. So she calls this dotted grid because even though it's grid, not dot grid, if you zoom in, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, the actual grid itself is made up of dots. So, um, but that's throughout the planner. But if you're looking for like dot dot grid, this is not it. This is grid grid. I actually prefer grid grid over dot grid. I used to prefer it the other way, but... Over time, I have learned that this is actually preferable for me because it's easier for me to see. So with the calendar, the A5 has five weeks and there's squares on top of the, like a darker gray on top of the light gray. And the squares are eight by eight of these little two millimeter squares, which would make it 32 by 32 millimeters per square. You've got some space on the top, some space on the side and some space on the bottom. With the week size, you actually do not have the space on the bottom. You just have it on the top and on the side. And the calendar squares are actually rectangles and they are five by seven. So it would be 20 millimeters by 28 millimeters and you get six weeks instead of five. I prefer six weeks because that way my birthday doesn't ever get fucked because I have a January 31st birthday, but that's just me. You get 12 months in each planner and then the back of the planner has 365 blank pages, so enough to do a page a day. And the pages have the, the grid across it with a very, very small margin on all sides. And then there is no center marking, but there is at the top and the bottom on both sizes, a center axis. So the little hash marks to tell you where the vertical axis is and where the horizontal axis is, and then also dividing it into quarters on both the vertical and horizontal. And that is on both sets. Then when you get to the end, you get this page that a lot of people draw into their bullet journals, but they've done it for you. It gives you a space to put tabs in case you're putting like monthly tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it shows you enough space for 12 monthly tabs, as well as a whole bunch of different ways to divide the page up into different like widths, whatever you wanna do for your week. Like here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can create a week spacing guide right here if you want to, or other like divide it in half with like space in between. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can divide your pages up, as well as numbering the dot the grid on the top and the side so on the a5 there are 34 squares vertically or uh, 34 squares horizontally and 50 squares vertically and on the weeks there are 21 squares horizontally and 44 squares vertically so this way you don't have to do all of that counting and math they do it for you i appreciate that and then the very back page is their little specs page it has information about the planner like you know, some of the stuff I read you already and information about Lauren Phelps designs. And then you have this beautiful inside cover paper, which is sturdy enough where you could easily put some adhesive pockets on this and have it be pretty nice. So yeah, these are beautiful. 
I'm not sure if these are going to be the ones that this is going to be the one I'm going to want to use for journaling purely because I really love having a weekly layout to make it simpler, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to be doing some comparisons. So this is the Lauren Phelps design a five cover. And so I'm going to throw this on here and see how it fits. Oh my God. Can I do this? No. Takes a little wriggling to get it in, but once you get it in, it works really well. Has a secretarial pocket on the side with three kind of sections. And then the back is just, says Lauren Phelps Designs, but you can still tuck things in if you want to. Yeah, these are beautiful notebooks. I think that they have a lot of potential for people who really want to sort of create their own, but have a tiny bit of structure. I'm gonna be doing a big comparison of at least the week style in probably November or December when I get my sterling ink. But I do think that these are gorgeous. I love the color. Like I said, my nails match. Um, I will be doing some experimenting in this one because I'm going to be sending this one back so that they have it. Uh, check me out on Instagram at Llama Letters. I'll probably post pictures there. But this one I'm going to be either keeping or giving away. I haven't decided yet. I was thinking I was just going to be giving it away. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I want to keep it? I might want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> what would I use it for? Who fucking knows, right? Anyway, uh, we will talk more about that as I'm coming up. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think of these live, plan, dream notebooks? And are there any other planners you'd like me to take a look at in the upcoming months? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.